Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel. My name is James and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do an idle animation. And what an idle animation is, is basically a breathe loop where the character is waiting for the player to do an input. So you see this a lot. Any video game with a character in it will all have an idle animation. So it's important to learn how to do them properly. So the first thing to do is to create a base pose. This is going to be a combat loop. So it's important to pick a pose that you know is dynamic and suits your character but also that the other animations can flow from. So all your attacks and hit reactions are gonna come from this kind of pose. Let's get started. So I've already set a pose at frame zero and 100. This is gonna be a 100 frame loop to start with. Uh, so I'm gonna set a key at 50, and I'm gonna set a key at 25, and 75. Okay, and I'm gonna open up the graph editor. And we're gonna start on the main control, the cog, and we're gonna get our up and down, this is the first thing I like to do is to get the up and down motion. So just using the graph editor, I've just pulled down every other keyframe just to create a the beginning of a cycle. Okay, so the next curve we're gonna look at is the rotate X, which is the forward and the back. On the downs, when the character is down, I'm gonna rotate down like so. Now, what I like to do now is to loop into infinity so forwards and backwards. And then I just like to offset. So I'm just gonna drag this forward so that we get an offset from the translation Y down and the rotate X. So we get this kind of nice wave going down the body, like an overlap. Okay, next let's have a look at the chest control and let's do exactly the same thing. So for the down position, I'm just gonna rotate his body down and do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna loop it into infinity, front and back, and then just drag along and offset it even more. So we get even more of like a wave going down the body. So we're getting this kind of motion here. Okay, next, let's look at the side to side of this main control here. So it's always nice to have a bit of bounce uh, from the left to the right throughout the loop. So what I like to do is Pull it across slightly, like so. And you won't need, need this center key for this. Okay, like so. Now, the thing with this is, if you look here, our, the end is flat. So you're gonna get a weird kind of not loop going on, see that? So the way to remedy that is to make sure that your tangents from start to end, they line up. Uh, so there's a really quick method of doing that that's really accurate. If you position your timeline over here like this and copy your key and then press CV, it will then paste the exact tangent line so that you get a perfect loop. Okay, I'd like to increase the amount of time that he actually spends leaning over. So we've got weighted tangents on here, so I'm just gonna middle mouse button drag and just increase that. Okay, I'm just gonna play around with offsetting this as well. So I'm gonna loop for infinity, front and back again. And just delay that ever so slightly. Just so it's not completely in line. Okay, let's take a look at our Y curve, the up and down of the main control. I wanna give a slight bit of favoring to the top part. So again, I'm just gonna use the weighted tangents just to drag across and maybe just angle them up a little bit and do the same for these, just tilt them down, just to give it a little bit of a softer motion. Okay, so next, let's take a look at the head. So we're gonna be doing the rotate X, which is the up and down. So again, I'm gonna drag down for the low parts and loop for infinity, front and back, and then just offset that by quite a bit. So now we see we're starting to get a nice kind of wave going down the body. So as, as the character goes down, the rest of the body doesn't hit that exactly at the same time. It's kind of delayed, so you get a nice kind of breathe going on. So now it's just a case of adding all the rest of the rotates and just giving it a slight bit of motion here and there. So for the rotate Z, which is the side to side of the main cog, I'm just gonna pull these down a little bit like so. Just get a little bit of motion side to side like so. 
and I'm going to do exactly the same for the rotate Y, which is uh, the side to side on the body. So at this point, I'm just going to rotate down slightly. Okay, so this is how the idle is looking now. I've gone ahead and Reduce the time from 100 frames down to 74. I just felt a bit slow and sort of uh, not enough energy in it, so just kind of sped up the entire animation. Um, so it's starting to feel okay. Uh, we've got quite a nice side to side motion going on here. So, what I'm going to do now is it's always nice to do two loops and then just break up the second one so it's not doing exactly the same thing. Uh, just add a bit of variation. So, what I'm going to do is select all the curves and just loop them for infinity, so just cycle them. Okay, and this will give me a loop throughout eternity for this. So now I've uh, doubled the amount of frames I basically got in the animation, and it still loops fine. So I've basically just added another cycle onto the end. Cool, so what I'm going to do from here is create an animation layer. Okay, and just key the start and the end so I don't mess with those too much. And the great thing about animation layers is you can key on top of looped animations just fine. So what I'm going to do is just start breaking this up a little bit, just so he's not doing exactly the same thing throughout. So I'm just going to give just things a little bit of a wiggle, especially sort of the upper part and the arm as well. And this will just create a nice bit of life to the character because it, it will feel like it's not doing exactly the same thing throughout. Okay, and it's also very important to do some work on the head. So for this part, say, let's have him look slightly this way. Okay, let's keep him looking that way. And let's have him turn his head for this last part and then come back. Do some work on the eyes to reflect that as well. Okay, so at this point, just have him look slightly that way. Okay, as he begins to turn his head, I'm just going to bring the eyes over. Okay, and just as a little detail as well, this also animate the mouth a little bit, so it looks like he's breathing in and out. Okay, and that's about it. I could polish this for a bit longer, but. Um, Know, as a base idol that will, that will do just fine i uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching